Hi, and welcome back to MRTV. In this video, I'm going to review the Quest 2 Elite Strap. And yes, I'm totally aware of the fact that I'm probably the last YouTuber to review that strap. Anyways, gotta get back to Quest 2 content and that is a good start. So, as you know, I told you that I personally like the official strap here, the soft strap that it comes with and that I believe that you should absolutely for yourself check it out first before you buy any other straps because I do think that this is better than lots of people make it look. And if you want to see my video about it, please check it out here. However, I also believe that this here should be more comfortable than this here. The question is just, is it worth the $50 asking price? This is what I'm going to find out in this video. So absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back again here to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this channel here is all about virtual reality. I'm bringing you independent reviews of all the VR headsets, of VR accessories and you're getting the latest news. So if you're new to the channel, absolutely subscribe and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. And now let's directly get to the unboxing. This is the box that the Elite Strap comes in and this is the unboxing experience. It's a very nice one and a very premium one, just like how it has been for the Oculus Quest 2 itself. And here it is, the Quest 2 Elite Strap. It is so hard to come by these days and let's find out if this is for a reason. So let's check this out. This here is hard plastic and from my very first impressions, it doesn't feel like it's very unstable or flimsy or like it could easily break. But well, these are just my first impressions. Then this part here for the back of your head, it is made out of a softer plastic and it does feel good. Same premium feel here for the adjustment knob to adjust the size. I'm looking forward to try this out here on my head. Then we have the quick start manual. That is something that I was missing for the HP Reverb, for example. Good to have it here. And now let's check out how to install the whole thing. So first of all, for the soft strap, this is how you would detach it from your Quest 2. It's a matter of less than a minute, really fast. And now we can attach the Elite strap to the Quest 2. And as you can tell here, this is really simple. I think the method of changing the, the straps here well done, very well thought through and everyone can simply change it in a matter of a few moments and I am done here right now. So the next thing you have to do, you will take this middle strap, attach it to the Quest 2, just like this, right. And now you simply put back the face padding here and then you're good to go. And this is your Quest 2 with the Elite strap and well, it does look like a more premium headset right now. Like this actually does look like a PC VR headset just without the cables and well, that is without a doubt a good thing. So now let me tell you my first impressions and check it out for the first time. All right, my very first impressions unboxing and installing this are positive. This felt like a premium experience and it does not look flimsy at all. And well, we do have reports of people having it break here, but just my first impression, it doesn't look flimsy or that it would easily break, but well, a long term test will show this. But my very first impressions are good. But now the big moment putting this on for the first time and letting you know my very first experiences before I go and check this out playing a game. So let's do this. Let's simply put it on. And Okay, let me also put this here in the correct position. Okay, yeah, so the back of my head is nicely, yeah, being used by the device here, by the strap. And it does feel, it does feel good, indeed. So I would say from my very first impression, putting this on right now, yeah, it feels good. It feels good because you have, you do have, yeah, like 
a stronger hold. Like it's it's being it's being held better in place than without it. So that's that's for sure a positive first impression here. Of course, I have to play with it now, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts after these longer playing sessions. And for these playing sessions, I did try out a couple of games. One of them, of course, Beat Saber. Still an amazing game to play. And as you can tell, I did get a bit better in this game. Probably because I'm trying it always out when doing those tracking tests. Anyways, for the Elite Strap, it's feeling great with Beat Saber. It's feeling great with other games too. And while I was using these more active games, because I wanted to find out how does it feel when moving around? When in general you're getting a bit more active and yeah, it feels great. One great game to check this out as well is the climb because you have to look up, you have to look to the side and also for this, it's feeling great. It feels really good on the head, this kind of balanced feeling. It just feels overall more balanced and more stable and no matter if you're looking up, down, to the right or left, it's always a good feeling here with the Elite Strap. What I also wanted to find out is how does it feel when you are like dodging bullets, like for example in Pistol Whip. And here you can tell this is our favorite level here in Pistol Whip. And yes, dodging bullets feels great. You don't have some kind of wobbling like you have in some other headsets because the headset itself, it's so light and therefore it does work exceptionally well here. All right, after some longer playing sessions, my good first impressions have been confirmed. This is really comfortable and very nice, a very good addition to the Oculus Quest, since it does make the whole thing more stable. And this part here, it does grasp your back of your head really nicely. So I would say that this indeed is worth the $50 asking price, especially if you're not always bringing this to different places. Let's say you want to play your Quest 2 at home and it's staying there. I do believe $50 is a good investment for this because it does give you better comfort and I believe that you can play longer with it. If you are using your Quest on the go, I really love the strap because, well, you don't have this kind of form factor, right? With the soft strap, it's basically just this part here and you don't have to bring this part with you. So I will, without a doubt, keep my soft strap as well, for sure. And I still think that the soft strap is giving you good comfort. It is not as good as with this. This was expected. But check it out with the original software first. This is a great addition if you want to play at home, if you want to play room scale all the time, and if you want to play really, really long sessions. However, probably you might also want to look out for an alternative, like for example, the Elite Strap with battery. Understand at the moment, you cannot really buy them, they are sold out everywhere. I'm also going to review the version with the battery. It is much more expensive, but I'm also going to review it. But since they are all sold out in most of the places, I'm also going to check out alternatives. Alternatives like, for example, this strap here. This is something that I bought off Amazon for around 30-ish dollars and that should be available. So that is something that I'm going to review on the channel really soon. So absolutely make sure to subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss when I review this here. But overall, again, in a nutshell, I do like it. I believe it is worth the $50 asking price. It does not feel flimsy. I will, of course, check this out on the long term. And if this breaks, I will definitely let you know. But from my very first impressions and how this feels, I do not think it is going to break, but I will let you know if it is happening otherwise. All right, and that's it for this review. I really hope it was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, then absolutely consider subscribing and clicking on the bell button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. If you want to see more from me, if you want behind the scenes content, then check out the MRTV Elite at mrtvelite.com. That's my Patreon channel and that is how I can keep this channel independent. But now that's really everything I have and I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.